In this video, we're showing our new research, titled Detecting the Heart's Warning Signs with Signals from Implantable Defibrillators. An implantable cardioverter defibrillator, also known as an ICD, is a small device that's placed inside your body. It keeps an eye on your heart's beat using something called electrogram, or EGM signals. If it notices your heart is beating in a weird way, it sends a shock to get your heart back to its normal rhythm. Inappropriate shocks from ICDs are very common. These inappropriate shocks lead to various outcomes, including pain, increased risk of arrhythmias, and anxiety. To solve this challenge, we designed a novel machine learning framework. This framework is designed to categorize EGM signals into one of two categories, normal or indicative of impending shock conditions. As demonstrated in the figure, our method focuses on examining signals that come before a shock event, what we call upstream samples, as well as those from normal conditions, which we refer to as presenting samples. Our framework integrates metric learning, prototype learning, and few-shot learning techniques. Our experimental results reveal a remarkable F1 score of 0.87. Our method employs a dual-phase strategy, encompassing a learning phase followed by an inference phase. In the learning phase, we leverage metric learning via a Siamese neural network that discerns the distances between signal embeddings. This network employs LSTM as its core structure to analyze EGM signals, accommodating sequences of various lengths without necessitating resampling or segmentation. Initially, the network undergoes training on a selected patient group, utilizing both pre-shock and normal EGM samples. Subsequently, the network's training advances using pair loss, focusing on patients with exclusively normal EGM samples. This stage further hones the embedding space, improving the distinctness between the states. In the inference stage, we analyze the EGM signals in two phases. In the first phase, we use the k-means method on the training embeddings to create prototypes for the upstream and presenting classes respectively. These prototypes then serve as the support set in the few shot of the second phase. Then, the prototypes from the last step serve as the support set in the few shot of the second phase. The few shot learning finally classify each test sample by comparing the proximity of new instance embeddings to the prototypes. In our study, we gathered EGM readings from a group of 326 patients, all of whom had ICD devices installed. Out of this group, 93 patients provided us with EGM readings that showed both normal and pre shock conditions. The rest, amounting to 233 patients, only had normal EGM readings to share. Altogether, we amassed a total of 10,677 normal EGM readings and 233 pre shock readings clearly showcasing the considerable disparity in numbers between the normal and pre-shock data. The first table presents an analysis of the effects of integrating a pair network, complete with pair loss, in conjunction with a triplet network. The results reveal that our approach outperforms the conventional LSTM model. The integration of the pair network with the triplet network demonstrates a substantial enhancement across all measured metrics. Subsequently, the second table provides a comparative assessment of two distinct methodologies for constructing the support set during the inference phase. Utilizing clustering to formulate the support set yields an improvement in the evaluation metrics.